The solar wind is the, essentially the atmosphere of the sun that just keeps expanding out and it goes out beyond Pluto, beyond the planets, and it, it blows by Earth at a pretty fast speed and we catch it in our instruments and measure what, what it is and how fast it's going and which direction it's coming from. This data that we have on the sun, on the planets, the solar wind, we, we always look at it visually to try to pick out patterns or trends. And we thought, is, well, what if there's something that's, that we're missing that we just don't see? So we thought we would try sonifying our data, seeing if we could hear patterns in the data. Sonification takes the solar wind data that's captured by the ACE satellite, that's the Advanced Composition Explorer, and it moves it into the sonic realm such that uh, we're able to appreciate it in a different kind of way. build an interface um, that gave me access to this data. With the solar wind, I thought to myself, um, sort of a terrestrial wind, what are the features of this? Well, you've got the speed at which it flies by, whoosh, whoosh, you know, it like swishes and it swooshes and you get um, all these sort of interesting sounds that take place and the, the sort of the, the pitch is sort of determined by the speed at which this wind is blowing by. Um, and I, I also thought that the, the volume of this wind, or the, the gain, or the amplitude, would be controlled by um, the actual density of these particles. So what you get is this one sort of swooshing sound that's created in the background from these two different data entries. Sonification as a process isn't new. You have something like a Geiger counter where um, it relates clicks back to the amount of radiation. What makes this project different is the level of artistic license that's been given to the, the artists behind the creation of the, the sonification. Sonifying this data has practical applications as well. The solar wind has particular impact on Earth, especially uh, when we get these short-lived events. Uh, we, we call them coronal mass ejections or sometimes even solar flares that come off of the sun. All of these are components of space weather. Uh, they're so energetic that when they hit the Earth or hit our satellites, we've had satellites that will short circuit and will lose satellites or lose components of them. It's what creates the aurora. It can also create currents in the ground that will short out our power grid. We've had power outages from these solar storms. So being able to forecast space weather and understand what's coming and when it's coming so that we can take precautions against it is, is very important in our research. We can actually hear uh, in the data when the temperature goes up or the density increases. Before launching into this project, you know, the sun goes up and it comes down and it's like, awesome. <laughs> but I, I and now appreciate that there's so much that's happening you, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. There are all these mysteries that are taking place. 